Ladies and gents, BKB presents five two minute rounds of bare knuckle boxing in our second prize fighter semi final. Introducing first in the blue corner, representing Belfast with an undefeated record in BKB of one fight and one win, Aaron Sinky Sinclair! <laughs> Across the ring, his opponent stands in the red corner, representing Leeds with a BKB record of nine wins and three defeats, Scott the Mute McHugh! Clive Allenson is our referee in charge of the action. Okay, lads, you both need the rules, all right? See Watch your head when you come in, in close, expect you both yeah. to work. If you say break, you stop, you take one step back. No holding and striking. Watch the fingers, all right? Good luck, lads, let's go. Let's get down to he business! He's from his corner then, Scott. He's rearing. And Aaron Sinclair, look at bouncing, he's ready to go as well. We could be in for another cracker, guys. Five two-minute rounds. The winner will fight Sonny Smith in Thailand in December. He's got great range, hasn't he? Yeah, Scott was, McHugh. He's got really good. Nice sharp jab yeah. there. Didn't quite land, but. I suppose we five rounds, three you can't, but five Leeds crew, you can't can, hear you. Around to feel yeah. each other out, haven't you? Each other out, you can pace yourself a little bit more unless you're forced into a fight, obviously. Well, there we saw Ram Sinclair take the fight straight to Scott McHugh. <laughs> you try to pin Scott down about style and that, he says, I'm just a fighter. <laughs> he knows what he means exactly as well. I'm just a fighter, I love to fight. But he's improved as a boxer as well, Scott. He's, boxing, he's moving his head, he's getting his head out of range. Left to right, slipping. Don't go quiet, London, come on! He's Scott there just... Those hands trying to force his opponent to just look away for a second. Right, step off, let him go. Well, let's go. Right, step off. They're holding the referee. Not happy with a bit. Just a little untied. That's better from nice and cute. He's tried that a couple of times. First few times, he fell a little bit short. He's just trying to find his range now. It's on with that left hook. I think the, the, the closer in it becomes, the more it suits Sinclair. Yeah. Right. Yeah, it's a mouth. little bit of a match. Yeah, no, not too, not too. Nothing to I'm worry about. That is the road to doesn't Thailand. Doesn't quite look at his best. He that, and that's a credit to Aaron. But yes. Scott didn't have his best round. But because we said if he gets in tight, Aaron, oh, he can right make. Oh, that's a good shot. Good right hand for him. Aaron has to make it untidy. If he opens up, have we got any Belfast massive in here? Yeah. Then. McHugh will take over. That's it, Tom, if uh, Sinclair allows McHugh to... Use the to, range. Yeah, to use his range and his boxing skills. He'll box his head off, you know, so at the end of the day, he's, you know, Sinclair's got to find whether it's being a bit dirty. That's but that's coming and make it untidy. Yeah, make it untidy, take him out of his rhythm, take McHugh out of his rhythm. And there's nothing wrong with making it scruffy yeah, to get where you want to be. Well, sometimes you, that needs to be done, Tom, you know, you have to rough things up a little bit. Scott McHugh again. See, Scott McHugh wants to box him. Oh, nice left off from Aaron wants to scrap him. Yeah, he wants to tear off. Yep. McHugh wants to box. Now, them are the pose. Either of them have got have been posed problems. How are they going to deal with them? It's another good jab from McHugh. That's what he needs to do more of, Tommy needs to get behind that jab and keep popping that jab, even if it doesn't hit anything. It's keeping his man off balance, it's keeping him thinking. The, the, bigger, the bigger gap that McHugh leaves in between exchanges is better for, uh, for Sinclair. Yeah. Sinclair can set himself and then launch an attack, whereas McHugh, you know, with his boxing skills, just keep him off balance, keep popping that jab. 
Don't give uh, Sinclair time to set himself. That's better for McHugh. <laughs> like the punch back, that, isn't it? <laughs> Just a little bit of effect, though. You'll feel them. You'll feel them. He can get better still. So it's a good place to be Scott McHugh right now. There we go, third round. But Aaron Sinclair comes out hunting, wants to get in close and make it untidy and trade blows with McHugh. McHugh has to get him. McHugh wants the center of the ring, yeah. doesn't he? McHugh wants to keep him at distance. He, in center of the ring, yep. don't get on the ropes, don't get in the corners. Keep him at distance, keep popping that jab. Like you say, Tom, even great. there you go, the great jab. Even if he doesn't land, it's, it, 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 it's keeping Sinclair thinking. It doesn't give him time to set his feet and launch his attack. Just keep popping that jab in, popping it out, sorry, should I say. Even if you hit his chest, his hands. That's better. You know what I'm saying? He's yeah, it's better. Look. Sinclair has to take that little step back when that, he takes that, the jab. That swelling under Sinclair's right eye is growing. Yeah. We've got some blood there as well. Yeah. Opened up now. Swelling badly, isn't it, that underneath the, the right eye for Sinclair? See what I mean? So, so every time he pops yeah. that jab out, McHugh, yeah. Sinclair takes a step back, yeah. has to reset. But the only way you can do that is nice. good stuff from McHugh. The only way you do that is in the centre of the ring. Yeah. It's strange because there was a time when McHugh just wanted to tear up. Yeah. Now McHugh's a, a better fighter. Yeah, he's a better fighter, a better boxer, better technician. He's thinking more, moving his head more. Beautiful jab. Oh, he's, he's opened up as well now, that. Beautiful jab from McHugh. See, See if, 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 he, if he hits... Oh, that's a straight, that's a round straight jab. And again. This is a better round. That's Here we go. Shot. Good stuff from McHugh. It's the McHugh that McHugh wants to feel. Brilliant stuff. See, if he lands a punch on that, that bruise, he's in trouble. Oh, nice great body shots again. He's making his shots well now, McHugh. There you go. Absolutely super. I don't think there's any danger that round. Okay. Almost perfect, yeah, that. Yeah. Pick the yeah. shots, beautiful. Round three, here, here we go again. And that's just a confidence boost to think you needed. Oh, good shot losing. again. Now under losing. the left eye as yeah. well for Stay Sinclair. Watch the head. Push off. Let him go. Let him go. Box but up. we know Ben of the boxing. Anything Take else. your off the ball and bang. Anything can happen. Oh. Anything can happen. Oh. You're yes. learning, aren't you? <laughs> Summing up BKB, anything can happen, or you never know. Beautiful jabbing again from the Q, double the jab do you not, nicely. Do you, if you're like me, you love to see people work off the jab. No, the jab, jab it's a bit, my best shot, Tom, it's not your knockout. I say to the, the kids and the clients that are cheering, you, you're not, you, you, your best shot's not your knockout shot, your best shot's your jab, yeah. it works on the fence, you can use it offensively. Uh, or defensively. Yeah, it's the first line of defense. When you say to someone, what's your first line of defense, and say a block, I say, no, it's your no, jab. Jab. Once they pass the jab, that's when you use your block. Because if you jab, right, they can't get into you. Exactly, it. you're keeping them away, you're yeah. keeping them at distance. You're teeing up what you're going to do next off a jab. Best shot, it's the best shot you can have in your arm. This is a really good performance from the Q yeah, here. He, he, he's stepping it up a bit of level now. He's, it's, it's like he's turned the switch up again now. He's picking his shots. See there. Yeah. I said I think some, maybe after the first round. With each, I've seen every fight of Scott. And every time is improved he's his boxing better, ability. He's yeah. But I've noticed like this earlier. Really Come on, London, this shot. is BKB. Look how he's picking them shots now. Exactly what you said, Tom. As the fight goes on, it gets better, McHugh. And it's almost maybe after the first round, it's almost like he's starting to believe in himself. Yeah. Yeah. He's just stopped thinking. Yeah. He's not thinking at all. Yeah. yeah. He's, he's letting it flow. He's letting it flow. Beautiful, beautiful. Great stuff from McHugh. Switched to southpaw, tried the backhand. Now he's in his zone. Now he's in his zone. I think there's a, a lot of truth there, what, what Robin Reed, what Robin Black said. You've got to stop. Robin said stop thinking. I've, I think perhaps you've got to stop overthinking. Yeah, overthinking, yeah. You, are, you want to watch flow. yourself think. Yeah. Just see it happen by itself. Let it flow. You want to have to force it. There go. Go. Good job. Good job. Yeah. Good job. Yeah. It's over. Let's give it his all. Good job, guys.
fucking what? Should he sleep well here? Good job, guys. <laughs> Once again, wow, ladies and gentlemen. The fight was stopped in the 17th second of the fifth and final round. The winner on his way to Thailand, Scott McHugh! See you in Phuket, baby. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Some good love and some good respect between these two gentlemen. O2 Arena, please again, make some noise for both these frickin' warriors. And, oh yes, oh yes, we will. The Road to Thailand, BKB 33. The Road to Thailand semi-final action started here in the home of champions, the O2. And I will say, I'm gonna start over here with Sonny Smith. You again graduated from Hogwarts as a defensive wizard, catching fists off the elbows. The most handsome man here needs a Pantene Pro V. Sponsorship, Pantene Pro V, get it done. How did you feel your fight went, sir? Yeah, it went to plan. I loved it. To be honest, it was a war. I like to put on a war for the fans, and uh, that's what I'm about. If you ever watch me, then you're going to see me go toe-to-toe. -to -toe. From the UK, fighting out of Squamish, Canada, hands out of Japan, you Ginsu knives you. We'll bring it over to Scott the Mute McHugh. Again, I love everything you always do. I've seen you fight multiple times. You didn't pack the volume on that you normally do tonight, but you did pick your shots perfectly. How do you feel that it went? Good, yeah. Well, you know, I'm at a pro boxing gym now. Alan Oster, my new pro boxing coach, you know, he's brought me fucking on leaps and bounds, honestly. So, yeah, I suck to me boxing. Yeah, I can box, I can brawl, I can fight, I can take a shot. Yeah, so I'm buzzing with it. Well, I've said to you guys both, this is going to be a real-life action movie. We're going to bring you over there for Kumite 3000, Enter the Dragon, Mortal Kombat, Street Fighter. I'm going to make the most beautiful bare-knuckle boxing show that has ever been seen. And this is semi-final winner, semi-final winner, heading to the finals. Scott, how do you feel about his fight, and what do you think about heading to Thailand? Well, I'm going to Thailand. I'm going to fight Sonny, obviously. Tough kid. I've got no disrespect to him. Lovely bloke. Brilliant boxer. But uh, you're not going to take my shot, bitch. I'm only joking. No, I'm joking, Sonny. No, listen, we're going to have a good fight, you know. Good fight, uh, two clash of styles. I can fight, he can fight, I can box. He can box. All the best. See you in Thailand. We'll get some lady boys after. Correct a mundo. Correct a mundo. Chicks with dicks, my friend. Anyway, Sonny, how do you feel about the lady boys? No, 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 no. How do you feel again about heading to Thailand? Uh, it's a dream come true, really, and to fight Scott, like, he's a legend in the sport, and that, that's putting my name up there with him this quickly. It's my sec that was my second fight. It, it's a dream come true, so I'm ready to go. I'm going to train hard, and it's, it's not going to be a walkover. It's going to be a fucking hard fight. Correct, Amundo, my friends. Stand up with me. Stand up with me, Scott. Ladies and gentlemen, the road to Thailand starts here. The road to Thailand finishes in Phuket, the Pearl of the Andaman. This is your finals at BKB 36. Another round of applause for Sonny and Scott. Absolute BKB legends.